What's popping? Yeah. Uh, zero zero six. Oh my god, we made it six weeks consistently. Yeah, halfway to the uh, consistent mark is that we can mark it. Oh, we can okay. mark it. What's up, babe? Oh man, last night was mad real. I'm tired. Yeah. I didn't want to work today. Yeah, I'm this tired. This is work, and I didn't want to. I ain't gonna. I don't even know. <laughs> it's like, like I'm winded or something. Yeah, facts. Uh, yeah. DC living. Oh, yo, and niggas, the fact that people do that on a Saturday night or and the they get up and Sunday in DC. And oh. they like they do the Sunday thing where it's like an all day thing. Like it's the day party, it's brunch, and then it's the, the the lounge, and then it's the club. Like I don't know how they do this because I'm tired. My fucking tired, boss. And, and mm. Sade and her friends wanted to fight everybody last night. First of all, we were not trying to fight anybody. They tried to fight the whole club. They was like, fuck it. She said First of all, hair. I'm missing two thumbs nails right now because of last night. Look at my nail. My my white meat, my finger was gushing blood yesterday. Not for fighting because fighting. my friends just be drunk. <laughs> and we just was doing too much. She, she was fighting. No, we were not. All right, all right, all right. They weren't fighting. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, man, shit. I see the security nowadays. I'm like, fuck it, I'm out. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna head out. Security is a thing in DC. Like they're like super like they just want they be, take their job real serious. Okay, they must. They DC, must no, get paid. No, DC six security figures. must be getting paid, paid because they act like they last dollar depends on them giving that extra. You gotta go. <laughs> like they in a <laughs> motherfucking military of security. Yeah, like. military security. So we don't have any uh no sponsors today. Yes, well, I mean, we got Milani though. Yeah, Milani, Milani, but I don't think Vanessa. he wants to like you. Know. What? Yeah. Lifestyle. Yeah. He got, he got hoodies too, t-shirts. De- definitely. Fly shit, all that. Milani. Man, um, so M O L A N I, the brand. The brand. Let's hop into it, man. What do you want? What do you want to talk about, man? What's just happening, son? Because you what keep you acting like it's so special. I'm trying. You just I keep... wanna, what you want to talk about, like. No, you go first because nah, because you are you goes like you don't know what she wants to talk about. I know what I want to talk about. You don't never know. No. Yes, I do. Whatever. So I want to talk about uh, just oh my god tattoos, man. Because I seen a tweet on Twitter. It was like we all got tattoos. And, uh, sis was like who? But then that led into a conversation of just or made me think of a situation like when a girl has tattoos or mo- multiple tattoos of her ex's name. What well, a tweet said. We all got men niggas. Is it like we all got men tatted on us and? Some yeah. girls was like, who's we? Right. And then some girls was like, oh, deaf. So, so I was thinking like, shit, how, as a man, how do you feel if your girl has another nigga tatted on him or her? Like, I mean, like, how do you feel? I don't know, man. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is like, t- so it's, it's like, I don't really care for real, but when you first see it, it throws you off, especially if it's like multiple, like. <laughs> like, nah, fuck that. This is a thing. I need my shit. I need, I need my name to be on there because this is a thing. So that's how you feel. At so first, obviously, I am one of those females that do have. She got all her boyfriend names on her. I don't have me. all my boyfriend's names up there. That's a fucking. You got lie. one covered up. And you no, got two up. That's showing. Two? I got one. Why are you be dragging on? You got one covered up and you got two of them that's still there. Okay, so before y'all get to playing a drag game, let me tell you. She, she was in love, man. So, no. So, this is what it is, right? As most people should know by now, I'm from Connecticut, right? So, I remember when I was younger, there were certain things that, you know, we just knew, like, that's what was lit when you get older. So, like, for example, it used to be this girl that I knew when I was younger that we all used to go over her house and we used to go to school with her little siblings, right? And she was 23, but she had like two kids. And I remember like they were, you know, she was 23 and two kids. I think about it now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. I think about it now and I'm like, what the fuck was you doing with 23 or two kids? But right? But when I was younger, they used to have all the Jordans. They used to be fresh. It used to be all of them. And I used to be like, damn, they are so cute. Like, and I was younger. So all that to say, when I was younger, like that was the thing to do. You'd get you're the person you was you you was in love with you know tatted so i got my first one i was like 15. damn yeah what the fuck yeah i did got my first one i was like 15. did i know that no because that one's covered right so i got my first one i was 15 because that's what we knew to do and i never was corrected boom my mom right Mm -hmm. got her boyfriend's tatted on her boyfriend name tatted on her 
Y'all was just and a tat niggas name on y'all type of family, huh? I guess so, motherfucker. I don't know. What the fuck? All right. So, boom, I'm just telling you. So, boom, I see my mom doing it, and, and she did that when I was around 15, 16. You know what I mean? So, I was like, oh, wow, okay. So, boom, when I got older, so I didn't do it again. I got that one got covered up when I got, like, older, like, 18. And then um, I was older, then I had my first real relationship that I had for five years. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, this is what I know to do at that time, like... Okay, like you know what I'm saying. So I did it. So I got that another time. one, and then we broke up. And then right? we got another one. And then I did it one last time. So all her I did, I did. No, it wasn't all three. All three. First of all, no, when I first met her, she said all, I only I had. I was 15. That wasn't a real relationship. Come on now, like, do you count your 15 year old relationship I don't. as a relationship? Right. I was just young and stupid. Right. My two first actual relationships. I did so you're just older, stupid. Right. But then what happened was, this is what I realized, right? So I got, you know, my ex's name covered, right? Mm -hmm. And what I realized is, like, I don't have Jay's, and I told Jay I'm not going to do his because it doesn't mean anything. What? Like, it's not Clearly special. it means a lot. No, you got... it's just that it was something that I knew to do. Just like you unlearn bad habits, it was something that, like, look, I'm hey, from Connecticut. It's like, you keep talking about I'm from Connecticut. Look, I'm that don't got you, shit I'm to do with to, it. I'm going to tell you what it does have to do with it. Cut the shit. It has to do with the fact that we're a hillbilly hood town, right? That's We did little shit that just never made sense. Like, that's just what we did. So when I'm growing up and I'm seeing these things and all the popping bitches at the time, like, when I was younger that I used to look up to, that's what they did. So that's what I knew to do. And So you went from you young know, and stupid to old and stupid? I mean, older. Well, I was, I was like 21. That was still dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, like in the last seven of my years of my life, nah, I will never do that again. Wow. And here I'm I am. A, I'm a whole grown and here I, woman. Here I am thinking like, no, I I'm definitely will getting, get your name tatted on me. I'm not getting Jay's name tatted on me for the simple fact that it doesn't mean anything. And but I would I definitely would get, rather, your, get your name tatted on me. I would though. rather us get married. But I would definitely get your name tatted on me. Though. Marry me. Don't. I don't want to touch your name so I know it's real. I want to marry so you know it's real. You get what I'm saying? Girls so, always want to do something that got that they got something to do with money. Like marriage is fucking expensive as shit. I thought you wanted a prenup anyway. Not about the prenup, right? We can talk about that too because. But so what you talking about about the money? I because thought you yo, wanted to a get, prenup. To so get what does that even mean? To man? get to get an engagement ring, it costs money. To well, you marry me, we can get our names tatted. But give me the, the give me the marriage certificate though. All right. Period. Pool. And then 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 look, and I'll wait for my fifty thousand dollar ring. God damn, like yo, like <laughs> girls, are, like. <laughs> anyway, so speaking of prenups, like, is that something that you we would do? We want prenups. We want prenups. It's something that you need to have because when she leave your ass, you gonna we would have eighteen so you gonna, years. Eighteen years, say. So you gonna sign a prenup? I'm with the shits because I'm gonna have my own bag. You gonna have your own bag. So you don't. You know, that's not even a conversation. Uh, so I don't. It, honestly, I'm not opposed to either side. So like you know. um I'm 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 trying to get married with the intentions to do that. that's it like mm -hmm. I, I you know I don't foresee a divorce so you know to me this is what we do like this is life this is what we're doing um but if you know the lifestyles that we live in a different type of life we're living than our generations lived where money wasn't as obtainable for them as it is for us, I could see why people do do prenups because mm -hmm. it is a lot of money to go get out there. And it's a lot of money that if it doesn't work out, I mean, come on, the founder of Amazon, his wife got fucking billions. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a hard pill to swallow. Right. That's a hard pill to swallow. But, you know, in hindsight, he has it to give her. And, like, and on contrary, though, like, do you think that your significant other is entitled to that, though? Because she is there a lot of the time dealing with a lot of the emotions that you're dealing with. Yeah, I, I mean, I think emotional distress and getting monetary gain for that is definitely a necessity. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't mean it has to be half of your money. You get what I'm right, saying? Right, so, right. like, that, that's where it, it gets a little bit But wait, different. can't you sign a prenup and, and put... See, I don't know the situation, but yeah. I'm assuming that you can put this in the papers. Like, yeah, right, yeah, I'm, not I'm, half, it's, but it's, a percentage. To me, I think it's similar to, like, some type of will. But it's just, like, in divorce cases, right? So, I think, like... You should be able to outline all the details of what you would like if this does not go that way. So, so am I opposed to it? No. Like, I understand the, I understand like where you're going, where I'm going, and that's a big risk. Like, you know what I mean? So, I understand it. But 
if you was like, babe, I'm not trying to do that. We good. I'm good. So when we get married, I'm gonna, we're going to sign a prenup, and it's going to be 20%. It's like, you know, that's the average like, that a manager get. So I need 35. 35? Just... Because that's manager, and I need an extra 15% just for the fuck. Nah, see, for all that, it might just be 50-50. Nah, 35 is cool. Nah, 20 to 25. That's it. Final sure. answer. 30. Take it or leave it. All right, we can do that. All right. Hey, yo, speaking of that, yo, I want to, um, <laughs> let's get into some serious shit, because this right, is some shit that we just playing around with. Uh, right, some real shit, right? Speaking of finances and uh, the holidays are still here. I feel like we've been talking about the holidays yo, for three episodes now. this is now. the longest holiday season ever. ever. Mm. Like, come on. Right, but I was asking, um, where do you, where do you stand at sacrificing pretty much everything to make a, make it a good holiday season just not just for mm. you for your significant other mm-hmm. for your child because yeah. a lot of us i feel like a lot of us we go in debt trying to satisfy right. our family because right. we want them to be happy but then january february coming we fucking asked out we asked out Ooh, so this holiday season um you know and it's crazy because this is another reason why seasonal depression is a real thing people you know, go sad or broke just to try to please family members and children. And it really does put a lot of pressure on you because you want everybody, you want to do so much. You want to make sure everybody has everything. You don't want to leave nobody out. And then you end up leaving your fucking self out in mm. the end, right? Um, so this year, you know, like our expenses increased, you know, and we also made a major move to the other side of town. And, you know, finances are always spinning out of control. We ain't rich. And right. it is what it is. And we ain't balling. You know what I'm saying? We live well. But to live well, we pay a, a lot. lot of money for that. Right? Yeah. So all that to say, this year, ideally, I didn't get to do the Christmas that I envisioned in my dreams for my mind. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, it's a hard pill to swallow, though, because, like, you, you want to give your family and the people you care about the world. And then when you turn around and you're like, I really only can budget this because this is all I can do. So what I will say is this year, I think I finally learned the concept because I am one of those people who would sink myself to do whatever for my daughter, the family or whatever. And it has rendered over this year. I had to just deal with the fact that this is your budget and this is what you can do and be happy that you can do this. Right. Like, you know what I mean? And it's, it's hard, but you have to do it. So me, I'm 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 pro uh like don't fuck yourself over to prove your love or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm pro that in my mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but in my actions I'm the actually the opposite. So it's like I would like go out my way to do something for like my girlfriend, Amaya, whatever because or just a friend mm-hmm. just so I can show them my love when I don't need to do that cuz they already know that I love them and then that just fucks me up going forward, right? So that's just not smart. But uh, what I will say is this year, I think that our situation actually forced us yeah. to do the opposite because we just ain't have it. Yeah. Like, we couldn't That's, even yeah. pinch like, it yeah, on the way. Like, it's like, look. It was nothing we could done, do. There's, where do we pull, what pot do we pull from? Yeah, I think a lot of people um, just should definitely take note to that, though. Like, yeah. stop trying, stop putting yourself in a hole to prove to your loved right. ones that you love them because they already know you love them. Right. And that's a fact. And I, um, you know... It's, it's crazy because a lot of times we go into it thinking, like, I got to do this. I got to get them this. And it's like, no, you don't. You're not going like, to no like, no love you no more or less. They're not going to love you no more or less. And, like, I had to, like, really tell myself, like, even this year, I was like, oh, I really want to buy, you know, my this thing. And I'm just like, it's just so expensive. I can't afford it. I'm just like, it's all right. Like, and, and not to mention all, you know, the time spent that she receives or the the amount of time she gets with us and the encouragement and the love and all these things that we do on the regular. I'm like, she's not missing anything. And right. it's not, it's going to be here when I climb about the hole in March. It ain't going to go nowhere. And even if we do it in April, April. it's okay. <laughs> it don't like, shit, if it waits till her 11th birthday, right. she'll be okay. Like, right. certain things, like material and... Um, physical things mean nothing to the amount of love and the fact that we work hard and we're pinching to give her a life like this. Like, you know what I mean? To be able to witness and do things that she's never done before or have things. And it's Christmas and that's the time you're supposed to get things, but you get things. Like, you're fine. Like, so it's like, don't go broke trying to... Prove your love when they already know you love them. Exactly. What What you talking about, bae? 
Cause you, 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 when I, when you went on your phone, I'm never prepared. When you went on your phone, your eyes lit up like, "Ah, I got some. What are you you talking about, right? So, how do you motivate your partner? Oh, that's perfect. Without offending them. Cause you're a crybaby. That's perfect. Cause we was just arguing about this shit. (laughs) So, how do you do it, (laughs) All right. So, I mean, without offending them, honestly, I don't know. I just do it the best way I know how until I know how to do it differently if that makes sense so like me my motivation is like we always can be better you know what i'm saying like don't don't get comfortable like don't don't fall to the the trap of being comfortable like don't fall in that trap because in that trap you're only going to go backwards or you're going to stay still while everybody else passes you and like we just can't afford that but to to ask her the question i don't really know i just let let them know like yo yeah, you're doing good, but we can be doing more. And it's, it's more places that we can do better in than that we are doing in. So what happens if your partner... Just tell them what happened. Like, go ahead. <laughs> no, just go into I it. I go into it, but I want to know. What happens when your partner thinks you're the... Like, where you think they're not doing enough. They are doing enough. That's comfortable. I just feel like you always... It's, it, you, you always can do better. You always can better yourself. You always can. So, Uh-oh. me and Jay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, so, you know, we've been going through this little thing for the last couple of days. A couple of days? Since fucking Thanksgiving now. All right, fine. It's been Thanksgiving. So, we've been going through these things where, <laughs> whatever, we're, we're in our season and we're we're in the process of training and just trying to get it right. All right? We'll just put it that way. And our recent bicker has been about Jay feeling like I can do more in certain areas and I need to do it or I'm not working hard enough, basically. Basically. Or you're just giving a thousand and one excuses. Okay. So here's my thing, right? So we all have things to work on, right? So this is my take on things, right? My take is that we always have things to work on, everybody, right? And as long as you know that and you're continuously doing things to better yourself, even if it's one area at a time, as long as you're pushing forward, you are always on the road or the journey to be the better you. Great right? perspective. Jay's perspective is, no, you need to work right now and get it done. Yes. Right. So where is the median? Ain't no median. Life right. has no medians. Like... We don't, we just, nah, so I'm, I'm like, I don't, I don't mean to say life has no meaning. Jay has been very hard on me. Yeah, I am. Very hard on me. Okay, that's because I, I love you. I cried all day. That's because I love you Yesterday, because I was really offended. She wanted to break up with me because I'm being mean. I didn't want to break up with him. He told me I didn't do enough. Yeah. But I don't think I only, that's wait, the wait, wait. right way. So, no, nah, so I didn't. No, he did tell so me I didn't, you don't do enough. I didn't just come out and be like, you don't do enough. He told me I don't do I'm enough. I'm telling her, I'm trying to show her where she can get better. And instead of her saying, you know what? Yeah, I can get better. She's giving me a thousand excuses and saying how she's doing this and doing she that. And I'm like. a thousand things that I could get better at. Yeah, I did. And then, so instead of her taking accountability, be like, you know what? Yeah, I can get better. She's giving me all these excuses. So then I'm like, yo, you're not doing enough. Like, it, it wasn't just like, so, so, you ain't doing so enough. So let me ask you this, right? If somebody gets you a thousand things that you feel like they could do better on right how do you it's not if a you're thousand, not gonna give them three a, or four if you it was like seven or eight but um if you're not gonna provide them with a solution right then and there why don't you start at one i'll be giving you solutions solution? no you didn't but you don't think your shit stinks so you it, you can no, never I solve never it said my shit didn't stink he wants me to work on what he wants me to work on at his pace. Fair, okay. And I had to remind him, I'm not you, and don't try to prep me or train me to on my journey to do it how you do it on your journey. Yes, we are co, you know, we're partners, but our journeys are still separate. So how you choose to move forward and do your thing of working at yourself is not necessarily the same way that I work on myself on my lane, That's right? Fair. You can share some of your insight though on things that work for you. You can say, hey, but you know, something that works for me is yada, 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 yada. Maybe that could work for you in this area because that's something similar that we do. But when you're like, you need to, and you don't, and you have to, and you're not, and you, that now is not giving solution or providing this, it is now becoming more belittling. Right. I can see how you would think that, right? And I'm not about to say I don't do that because clearly you feel that way for a reason. However, what I will say is you're not the best at accepting shit. Like, I'll tell you where you might 
lack and you just won't accept it. So I feel like, again, let me take accountability first. I can definitely get better at my approach, way better. You know what I'm saying? And the understanding of that, what I'm saying is sometimes when I say like, all right, yo, you will start something and never finish it. And instead of you looking at it like, you know what? I can see why you would say that. You would tell me how you do start things and do finish it. Or then you will point a finger saying, I'm not starting things or I'm starting things and I finish it. Instead of just be like, you know what? Let me tell you like one. Well, we're going to talk about one. He's talking about an example, right? I said, and I have said this on the podcast. I said after Thanksgiving, I was getting to the gym. I did go to the gym. Did I go? Consec- like days, like three days, four days. No, but I would have gone to the gym, right? It's still holiday season. I'm still balanced. I was like, look, this is my way, right? But as long as I take my ass to get in there, it's a cal- accountability because I continuously try. Jay's like, you said you were going to get in the gym and you don't get a gym. This is my biggest problem with that. You didn't say you were going to get a gym, but you don't go to the gym but that's, at all. But so, listen, so listen. To me, to me, to me, if you aren't doing this at all, right? So that's like this, right? You need to eat healthy. I don't eat healthy at all. Not the same thing, But bro. okay, you say you're going to eat healthy, but I'm clocking when you eat healthy, and I'm not even working on it myself. Because so... I think that is like borderline like... You 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 expect something out of me that you don't even expect. That's not true. So what I'm, what I'm saying is, when I say you That's start things... So during the conversation, right? I said, you're making an excuse to get in the gym. And I tell you this all the time. I'm like, yo... Don't give you don't give yourself a task that you might not finish. That's why I say this a lot. I'm like, yo, if you if you might not finish it, don't say it because then you you don't give you you don't give yourself room to fail. And that's what, how I am. So the things that I say I'm gonna do, for the most part, I do, and I'm very consistent at. So if I say I'm like, yo, you start things and you don't finish it. So for the gym, even during that time, I'm like, yo. Don't say that. Don't give yourself a date because once you don't do it, you fail. So if you say you're going to eat healthy, I'm holding you to that expectation because you said that. So once I say, yo, you said you was going to do something and you ain't do it, the, why would, the first thing you do is point the finger at me telling you what I'm not doing. And I'm like, yo, I'm trying to help you. I never said I was going to go to the gym. Now, if I said I was going to go to the gym and I didn't, you could be in my ass, but I never said that. So, so, this, is, so this is how I look, about it, look at it, right? So... If I say I'm going to go to the gym, right? Yes. Thank you for holding me accountable for not doing it daily and like staying up to date with it, right? Like every day, right? But I do make sure I go and try. To say that the gym is like ending on my journey, like I'm never going to get back in, like like I'm never going to be in there January, February, March. It's almost saying like you're not doing something ever. Like you're not going to go back and do it. Like just because I'm doing it my way, my structure does not mean I'm not doing it. Fair. And I don't mean I'm not doing it. I don't think that. I'm saying that you're never going to do it. Again, it might be my approach. I need to change my approach. All my message is, all I'm trying to convey in my message is be consistent. You said you were going to be consistent. You're not being consistent. Be consistent. I feel like the conversation can go better. One, at if I, if I had a better approach. That's one, right? But at the same time, I just feel like, two, you're not looking at what you can do better. In the, and even in this conversation, it's, not, it's never like, you know what? Yeah. I did point the finger back to you. You know what? I didn't take it. Like, you didn't hold it. You never once held yourself accountable. Like, you know what? I didn't. I'm trying, but you're right. I didn't. And I can't get better. So, great thing you said that. So, here we are on camera. I read something that was very insightful yesterday that I thought was really dope. What? And it said that if your partner's not holding you accountable, they're not keeping you safe. Okay. And I thought that was a very monumental moment especially for our situation so i wanted to tell you that i do appreciate you for holding me accountable even though you do it in the most harshest ways but i still know you mean well and i do know where you're going with it overall and thank you for keeping me safe and making sure that you know i am always staying on top of what i need to do he doesn't do it the nicest ways some days can we get but, in- you know period. that was a great point can we get into how uh like um something i like that too like not addressing the positives enough yeah because i feel like that 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 holds weight on this conversation as well because if if you're not ever really addressing the positives or what you like when you do address these topics it's kind of hard for them to accept it because it's like my nigga you're always picking yeah you know what i'm saying yeah i say that to say uh because it, it's a lot of things you do that I like, that I admire, like even with like with the work, even though I'm not a nine to fiver, but that's something that's admirable because you are consistent in that and you be busting your ass with that. Mm-hmm. 
But mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, sometimes yeah. you gotta in your relationships. I feel like you definitely gotta point out the goods, like yeah. point out the positives, and, right. and instead of always pointing out the things you can get better at. Because I'm not even gonna say point out the negatives because all I'm trying to do is point out the things that can make you better. Mm-hmm. But while doing that, you have to point out the things that they're already doing. Anytime you give somebody one negative, you want to try to give them two positives. So, right. like, that's something I can work on. Just balance. And that's where it brought me to saying, like, how do you motivate, you know, your partner? How do you, you do know? it? Um, you know, I think I'm just a female, so I'm by nature a little softer than you sometimes. Okay. Um, so when a lot of times, I don't know, like, I guess, like, I might have a – like have to get it better at a balance because I think that a lot of times that, so I like a lot of what you do already. Right. And I think that some of the things you do is what I don't do. So because I see it through you, I almost cheer you on, but like forget to do it myself because I'm also cheering you on. Uh Like, you know what I mean? So it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily lacking at it. I'm just worried about pushing you through it because I admire that I don't have it in me. Like, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So whether that is a certain type of work ethic you have or a certain type of consistency you have, you may not see it every day in me, but I'm pushing it out through you because that's what I lack. Like, you know what I mean? So I think it's like a balance thing of just trying to make sure you do both. Like I push you, push myself at the same time and not feeling like, and a lot of that can come from, you know why I probably would deem it as you're being hard on me because I'm like, yeah, I might not be doing this, but I'm busy doing it this way, you know, pushing out, out back through you, what you do, because I appreciate, you know, that aspect of you. And that's something I, I crave to have. Like, you know what I mean? Right. At the same time. So um, I just think like everybody could just do better at, like you said, like having that fair balance of praising and critiquing, critiquing. Yeah. like you know what I mean like you praise your partner when they do good you critique them when they need help but you have that fine balance so nobody is ever like out of the out of the loop or feeling like damn like you don't tell me you don't push me hard enough or you don't tell me something nice enough like, right yeah so. now Alex shout out to our producer Alex man he um he had a great topic or point he was like how do you um how important is it to know your spouse's strengths and weaknesses Ooh, yeah like, um, I think it's very important, but um, I think it just has to be an understanding of how to communicate to your partner what their strength and their weaknesses are. Mm. So, like, I think sometimes, like, you know, communication. there's right, communication because, like, sometimes, like, even, like, you'll put out my weaknesses and you got to have grace for people who don't know that they're weak in that area. Right. Sometimes people don't know that they're weak there you know what i mean and they think they're doing good because that's the best they know how to do when in hindsight you can see them doing even better but they never reached that capacity yet so they don't know like i read a, you know a, a athlete in college i think and he was giving his coach a shout out and one thing he said is like thank you for pushing me through things that I never knew that I could do myself, like stretching me that far. A lot of growth is stretching people. Like mm. you're like literally stretching, like you're stretching your your muscles, all that. You're stretching. A lot of times people don't know that they can stretch that far because they never been to that. They never that, even tried. They yeah. never even tried. So like I think it just has to be like grace on like when you are noticing a weakness, like you have to also give them grace. Like damn, they may never even knew that they had that as a weakness in that they can stretch farther because you see them. Ew, excuse me. Oh, come on, sloppy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> no, so, but like, yeah, just in hindsight, just str- they don't know that they can stretch that far. So you, if you notice it, it almost puts pressure on you or I or whoever. But you have to say, all right, if I see it, then and I want them to get better, then I'm low-key, I'm taking responsibility for helping them stretch that far. A, a lot of people uh, say communication is key, and I, I don't really believe that. I believe communication is key, but I think more importantly, how you communicate is key. So, like, if you know the strength and weakness, like you said, recognize to have grace, or if you need to have grace, it's like playing football with sports or whatever. Um, the coach, is some kids, you can be like, Nigga, what the hell is you doing? Get the fuck up. And you know what I'm saying? And some kids, you can't do that with. Some kids, you got to be nice to if you got to speak softer with. Yeah. uh, Things like that. So it is just knowing how to communicate. And a lot of times, patience is so important because we get in these relationships and we want it to happen overnight when it takes so much time to get to know somebody. You don't get to know somebody overnight. Even if we live together, we've been been with each other for going on two years and... Mm -hmm. 
we still don't know each other yeah. fully. You know what I'm saying? So like people have to have patience and understand how to communicate. Right. But I mean, that's that was that. That was great, great, yeah. great talking points. Yeah. Can we uh shout out uh Melt by is it Melt My or Melt by My? It's Melt by My. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Jewelry and accessories. Yeah. Yo, so proud. Yeah. So proud. My baby launched her jewelry line. Mm-hmm. Nice little soft lunch. She's still coming with a big bang. So. She's almost at 200 followers on Instagram on a like business page days. already. In three days. I'm trying to get that many followers. She made f- about almost $400 in her first three days. Wait, so she paying rent? I'm about to make her pay rent. Because I'm saying, I'm about to like, make her pay rent. $400, yeah. I ain't make yeah. that. And she gets to keep all her money. That's not our money. Um, The only thing she has to do is invest in, back into her product. So, mm. um, you know, she's really excited about it. Uh, You know, she's still 10. So, you know, some of the legwork, I'm still trying to explain to her at her age where she can understand it. Um, But she's also a kid. So at the same time, she'd be like, all right, that's nice. Yeah, can I go <laughs> like outside now? And it's like, yeah. all right. But the fact that she's processing it now and, and she's definitely into and, it and she's into it. And as she gets older, she'll adapt it now. Um, I think it's phenomenal for her and her pieces is fire. You know what I'm saying? So I think that works for her. Um, And I was just showing Corey yesterday, like this inspiration uh, jewelry page that I always follow that I would love to see Amaya at, but at her age for her generation. Um, and I totally think it's obtainable for her. Like I said, she's lit like three days, 200 followers. First of all, I'm still on a measly 35 followers on Twitter and I opened my Twitter like two months ago now. Okay. It's she hard got 200 to get followers. followers. Bro. Yo, it's so hard, but the it's kids is different. Like the fact that I never reached 10 K followers on Instagram and I might had 20,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah. And when I see complex posts, is how TikTok is such a special page. Like yeah. people don't understand. And my ten year old had twenty thousand followers. I said, "Oh my Crazy. god!" Like, yeah, Yo. like so. But shout out to uh, Melt by My. Make sure you follow Yo. her business page on Instagram. Melt by My. Melt by My. Is yes. it a dot on it or something like that? Oh, so the Instagram page is Melt dot X My M A I. Okay. So X is like bye. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. But melt dot X my. Follow her. Shout my baby out. Look out for her. She's up next. And I hope prayerfully that she could be like the YouTube kid that's That'll be dope. you know, making twenty eight million. <laughs> I mean, come the fuck on. And as you know, I seen the list of kids is twenty eight million and then the next one's make like fifteen million and then there's a three year old making fifteen million. I mean, excuse me, ten million. That's like I mean I'm here for it. Though. Hey man, I'm all listen. The way here for Sh- it. Shout out Melt by Ma. Make sure you uh, shop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jewelries and accessories. Make sure you uh, go to the Instagram page. Make sure you make an order so you can support her. She's only ten years old with her own business. Yeah. Uh, let's get into the shits now. What's the shits? What we What's talking? We, where, where you want to start at? Where you want to? You want to start with uh, oh, Trump, or you want to? Where you want to start? Let's start with. I feel we got two trolls on the page. So we got ah. Trump and Takashi. T and T troll and troll. All right. So what, what you so, want? Which one you want to start? Let's start with, with Takashi. Oh my god. Takashi. Snitch nine. Snitch nine. Yeah. So it's crazy because he already he, he's getting time served. Yeah. Well, he's sentenced to twenty four months. And he's got time served. He's which was about eleven months. Eleven months. So he only has about damn near 12, 13 months because with good behavior. He fuck around, get out earlier, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. They call him for November 2020. Do you think uh, so, it was fair? I read his letter to the judge, you know. You read it? You ain't, you ain't, you ain't bring it here? I read this like a week ago, though. Oh, so, okay. Like, yeah. Fuck it, I, fuck it. Like, I didn't even... It just started coming to me as I was talking. So, I read his letter to the judge, and... um. He's being extremely apologetic and extremely remorseful to the judge. Um, and he's also talking well, about how he. people... Exactly. <laughs> of course, he's talking about how people look up to him and how many people he do not he does not want to let down. Mm-hmm. Um, and how you too know, late during the circumstance of what he was going through, he he felt like he, did, he was doing what he had to do. Okay. So this is how I feel. Um, I personally don't think Takashi's learned his lesson. I wanted to believe for a second that, nah, he's a young kid. Uh, He's going to get it. But you got to understand, 24 months is a real slap on the wrist. Like, that's not... Move it all the way back. That's that's not a... Even farther? Yeah, because it's like a... uh, You'll see. 
<laughs> but yeah, go ahead, my bad. Like he's getting a big slap on the wrist. This is this is almost popping your kid on your hand. Don't do that. Right. Like this is not like a like and and don't get me wrong. Jail is I wouldn't wish that on nobody. And I'm not saying like, but come on, he has all type of charges like against him. Like it's not even just the gang yeah, stuff so they many. did inside the gang. Like you get what I'm saying? Like armed robbery, like you know vandalism, like beating people up, like. The, stealing from people like doing all these just things that just really harm other people's lives right. like you know what i mean and you're remorseful now because i mean you you're, got, you're, you're, extremely remorse, you're extremely remorseful because you don't want 37 years yeah of course that i understand but now that you got 24 months all i'm thinking he's saying like well shit i ain't got that 37 so i'm i did what i had to do right. like you know what i'm saying i did what i had to do and i don't think that's going to you know, I think the embarrassment more so may weigh on him heavier than the actual sentencing of just having to deal with that. But I don't really think he's learned his lesson, Do to you, be honest. You think people will still, like, work with him? Yeah, because he fucking, I mean, he's going to get numbers regardless. It's a numbers game. He's going to get the numbers. People are going to work with him. I wouldn't be surprised when he come home, 50 Cent, take his ass to dinner and fucking... Like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to get, you know what I mean? Sure. Like, these, they got hit with Rico, you know? Yeah. And he's out in 24 months. Ridiculous. Not 24 months. <laughs> he already did 11, excuse me. He's out in, like, 13 more months. So, do we interview him? <laughs> I would love it. Like, I should, I'll interview I'll that nigga. Yeah. So, a lot, so, wait, do you think that other, like, the big companies should interview him, though? So, as far as endorsements and, like... Like, Breakfast Club, should they do, a, should they, should they do an interview with him? Yes. Why? Because he gave them like one of their biggest views. <laughs> so, like, so all right, I. So yeah. I was listening to the radio show the mm-hmm. other day, and uh, and Envy made a great point. He was like, "They don't think they don't need the interview because they don't need the views. They already get it. They already got the money. You know what I'm saying? They don't to interview Sakashi because it's just such a yeah. a touchy subject. Yeah, like they don't want no parts. I don't want no parts. Yeah, I would interview him because the opposite. Yeah. I need the views. Uh-huh, <laughs> like, uh-huh, fuck it. Uh-huh. Like, I need that back. Like, I don't support what you're doing, uh-huh, but, bro, uh-huh. shit, if this is going to make me come up, fuck it. I mean, I think I think people want to hear what Takashi has to say. He doesn't get to really talk about anything because he has she been in court. did a lot of talking. No, to the, to the courts. <laughs> but, I mean, we have not got to nah, really nah. understand. Like, I have not. I would want to hear what he has to say and through his process. Like, what the fuck was he thinking? So, you can't. I, I just... I mean, I do. And I really don't give a fuck. He signed a $10 million deal, so. Yeah. I just, <laughs> so I want to know. I'm, I want to know where does he think his his future lies after Joe, like life after Joe. I just don't um, really care, honestly. No, fair. I would just, I literally probably do the interview just to get a yeah. check. Like, yeah. Because like. I mean, fuck it then. Check. But no, nah, no, nah, I, I ain't mad at you because uh-huh. it, is, it is a story that people Yeah, would, like would, I, would I think I would want to know because like, here's the thing. Like I told you, like, you know, up until the case, like. In the beginning, when I first realized who Takashi Six Nine was, I didn't like him because he had rape charges. Rape charges, against, yep. Right. And so, if anybody stopped, like you said, you uh-huh. were not to cut you off, but you were huge on that. You didn't mm-hmm. like that because of that. Mm-hmm. And honestly, uh, my guy from Hot Ninety Seven, um, fucking uh, Rosenberg, he was saying that if anybody stops fucking with him now because of him snitching, mm-hmm. honestly, they should have been stopped yeah. fucking with him because he was he had rape charges yeah. with little ass girls. Yeah. Like, my nigga, like, if yeah. you gonna stop fucking with somebody, right. stop fucking with him because of that. Right. So it's crazy because, like, so boom, right? He's had enough reason for people to stop not like him the whole way. Right. right. Um, which I do feel like he had his fair view, his fair supporters, and he had his fair people who hate him. Like, mm-hmm. he had both, right? And that never changed. Even when he was out before all this, it was a lot of people who still did not like 6 9 Like, right. let's not get it fucked up. Even as huge of a fan base as he had, it was tons of people who didn't like him. So, you know, in the beginning, I didn't like him because of the rape charges. You know, when I looked further into the rape charges, you know, the I, I didn't give him grace. What it was was I just know... So, for example, the storyline was... You know, the girl, he was like 16. The girl was like 13. Mm-hmm. But we did that. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, in her parents press charges, like, but we did that. Like, I when I, we were younger, we dated older guys. Like, it was the normal to do. Like, fit. You dated older guys? Yeah. I've never. You, you know, be dating you know, mad guys. Every time I talk to you, it's about another guy. These are the same guys we're talking about in a circle. What are we talking about? So, you used to share these niggas? Like, no. Know. It's in a circle, like, what goes no, around, comes around. No, I mean, 
the same guys we talking about is the same guys that are older. That's what I'm trying to say. Jeez, um, peace. So you still be talking to these niggas? No, I don't. Ever, I don't even know where these niggas are. I only know you. I don't even know them. Who are they? Good answer. All right. Yo, we talking about uh, <laughs> Donald Trump. Who is this nigga? Well, so why are we excited because he's impeached? Why? Like, why do we care? Because it's a step forward. So okay. people, like, people keep saying, like, why are we excited? So it's a process, and we are in the process. Like, the first part was even to get it to be impeached to continue on the process. Without the impeachment, we would have no process. Right. Like, so, like, even though it's like. Who cares? He's still in office. He might not even go. It's like, if we didn't get permission for this, we wouldn't even be here. It's a whole bar graph of where we're here. You start here. If you get here, you can go that way. If you don't get here, hey, this is what it is, and this is what you're going to get. We are now here, so we now have another avenue to that go was, down. That was like the corporate America talk, because like bar graph, you get here, then you go there. Yeah, well. Because I didn't understand none of that shit. Well, you would on paper if I showed you on paper. But if you have a starting point, Right. And there's two ways you can go. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's either no impeachment or impeachment. Right. Mm -hmm. If you get to impeachment, you now have another bar you can go to. And then from that's there, how bar graphs yeah. work. I thought they just like, not like bar graphs, but I don't know what the fuck you said bar, bar graphs. Bar. I was looking like I'm bars. Just talking, like, yeah. Well, like, but this is like, way, like a, it's a like, tree. It could be a tree, whatever, a, a branch off, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> the point is, it's another avenue that we have to go, because if he didn't get impeached, it went to the left and we would not have another avenue to go. Okay. Okay. To go further. So period, Pooh. All right, all right. So, but I just feel like, man, this nigga is crazy. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this nigga, he's like, I just don't. I don't think a country can be ran by somebody with this much. Just like, just with this type of behavior. It like, look like you want to say just, just this, just this much ill. Yeah, I did want to say <laughs> ill because I'm so disgusted. Like the things that comes out of his mouth, like I just like I just don't understand. Like even what he said to the Democrat Party of just saying like her husband is yeah. sm smiling from yeah. hell at her. Like he's a weirdo. Her, her husband's dead. <laughs> like what? We he says these things with no regard. Like he's completely sexist. He's very rude. He need to get smacked he's, in the face. Yes. Somebody needs like, to punch him dead. He's in just the mouth. like. He's not, he has no sympathy for the people. Like, he says whatever out his mouth. And I think somebody who doesn't have sympathy or remorse for what they do, how the fuck do you run a country? Right. I think, you um. You possibly do care you, about enough about anything. So do you agree? Even, what? Do you agree with uh, Obama when he was like, um, it need to be a woman running the country? If, if women was the president, it would well, be better? Well, I know word on the streets is two, two, the, two of the presidents who didn't like Hillary is two that, are impeached and that's Clinton and that's uh, Trump. So apparently this is why they're getting impeached. So the ladies are saying that no, don't go against Hillary, basically. But so, Obama literally yeah. said that if he um, thinks it would think, be a better country if I, woman I can't running, wait till a woman runs the country. I, I can. I don't I, I, I don't think I, I don't I think, I, not that, that I, don't I, think, think. I think women are very good um for stuff like this in business. I don't know. Like, yeah, they women so. are heavily invested into their emotions. And I feel like once something go wrong, oh my God, she's no, going to reap hell I, on I the country. I, I, no, <laughs> I think, no, I think that's, just, I think, no, I think that's a myth. Like, I think there's a certain, myth. Yeah, I think there's certain Ain't no women, damn myth. No, because. Ain't no myth. Certain women are. Ain't no myth. Certain women are scorned in those ways. So when like things like that happen, it's like, you're like, oh, they'll burn down the country. Because that's Some the truth. Some women are mature enough that have passed that stage that they don't even think like that. Very much. It's a vibe. Is, is minute a word, right? It's a very minute <laughs> group of women out and there. It's a very minute group of women who's going to run for president. All right, right, you got it. Come on now. That like, was a, that was a great gonna, rebuttal. Gonna, like, that, I'm thinking she was going to like try to like no. come back, but that was a great. Yeah, because there's there's going to be like there's not that. First of all, the intellect and what you have to carry on your back, it's not a lot of women who can handle that position. Oh, so we're just going to have a mature yeah. podcast today, basically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Clearly. What happens? I mean, I was drunk last night, so is this, this is all I got This is going to be mature. <laughs> we're going to make mature podcasts. So, so, <laughs> mature. Po maturity. Uh, maturity. <laughs> <laughs> this Yo. is all I got for them today because my jokes is running slim. I only could use my brain power today. All right, all right, all right. All right but um, you, you, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm here for that. Like, um... Right now, um, you know, Bernie Sanders is, you know, looking good. That's what I'm. That's what I'm rolling with right that's now. What you're rolling with? Yeah, that's what I'm rolling with right now. Honestly, I don't even know. I want to do some more research. Yeah, uh, that's a great answer though. Like a lot of people won't say that. Like yeah. that's a great answer because I have no idea. a lot of people don't have any. Data. You know, I fuck with uh, 
Um, yeah, Camilla dropped out. Oh, she's been dropped out, right, yeah. Alex? Oh, yeah. 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 She yeah. said she had no money or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't she AKA? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He had no money. Let me eat a pink Starburst, yo. He had no money. Cut the shits. So she's a black woman and she's an AKA. And you mean to tell me like she couldn't have like a campaign? She's stealing y'all money. Fuck out of here. I'm sorry. She she got the fuck with y'all money. Fuck out of here, man. But anyway. Uh, I forgot what I read up on about some tr- reasons of other thought of reasons of why um, she dropped out. Uh, can we get into um the little girl that I'm so and irritated. y'all was so, so now y'all might see me oh go. my god now, now y'all might now y'all might see me go up because now I'm irritated. What's her name? You about Camilla? to eat that ca- candy right now? Yeah. Cause you be smacking in the mic right. like a motherfucking goat. You right. First the fucking ball. The fucking Starbucks is juicy as hell. All right, well, yo, what the fuck? Yo, am I tripping? Am I the only one in this room that's like, come on, you don't do that shit. What the fuck? Oh my God. It's a Starburst, yo. What the fuck is going on, son? Okay, <sighs> Carol Sanchez. Huh. Chew your candy, dog. Moment of silence. Oh my God. This She going to slurp into the mic so niggas can see in here. Oh my God. Somebody please teach this woman manners of being a girlfriend. I'm a real nigga. Yo, eat that. That shit gonna sound crazy. We could bleep it out. Be- All right, boom. Carol no. Sanchez, that shit was so good. Mm. You brought up Camilla Harris, aka I thought a pink Starburst. It was right here. Yo, so basically, you want me to aka? Hell no. Kamala. 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 Kam- Kamala. I, I, Car- what Camilla. Carol, I'm, I'm over here. Carol, Camilla, Carol Sanchez, y'all. All right, so now I'm irritated. So I might get hype about this. Uh oh. Get hype, babe. Get hype. Go ahead. So. Bro. I already told y'all my anxiety that I have with this whole sex trafficking thing. When I seen that video, I, my heart like literally broke. And I think that's the the feeling of the million of viewers who seen it. It broke their heart. Like to, like to even imagine that a mother is walking with their child and their child gets snatched from them is a devastating thing. Yeah. Millions of Americans watch this. You have celebrities all over who don't even speak up on numerous of things posting this left and right because this is heartfelt like we felt that heavy like in that instance we felt it so heavy for so when the when the cop said she was found and safe everybody was alarmed like we were thankful and i seen everybody kind of post like you know thank you she was found but i think everybody was a little confused because it was like it's not that she wasn't hurt and that we were expecting her to be like dead or something. It's that she just walked to the damn police. Like she went to them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. she, like saying that they dropped her off in a park. <sighs> so all that to find out that you staged your kidnapping so that you didn't have to go back to Honduras. Oh my gosh. So if you. Martin, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you. I thought you were my dad. I just, <laughs> I, I just didn't want to go to Arizona. Head ass. Like. <laughs> But what, 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 like, I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out, so why does she, she come back if... I'm confused. Honestly. Because it went so viral and she didn't think it would go viral. Okay. And of course, now you got your friends involved. You got their car involved. If they go, you know, oh, looking wow. at everything, you know, you put them in harm's way. Like, they could have really got arrested and went to jail. Like, you know, people really cried about this. Like, your boy... Y'all are young as hell. Like... And then to think of it, like her, she she had her boyfriend do it. She wanted to stay with her boyfriend. He's a fucking twenty three year old crip. So great. Now we got a gang member allegedly. <laughs> a gang. So member. she don't she don't get in trouble with that, for that. Like she can't get in trouble for that. I, she better get in fucking trouble. Let me tell you why that air. What type me. of trouble? Like, Let me. Okay, I'm gonna try to see the severity of that <laughs> because this is really bad. There's tons of women who still have not been found. Facts. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not cool. So what type of slap in the face is this? Like, you know, so, you know, unfortunately we know but so much of what we know about sex trafficking, but we know that they do get, they're stuck in hotels or rooms. What the fuck? Well, you know what I would feel like watching this on TV by accident? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yo, like, this probably broke them down. This is another reason what's going to help. Like, 
the fact that people already don't take it serious enough. Like, you know, these black women and these black girls go missing and they're like, okay, yeah, you know, you got to wait 48 hours to, for them, you know, for you to really be able to complain and a search to go out. And then they don't take it serious. This helps them not even take it more serious because now they got to double make sure it's true. They got to double make sure this is real before they send SWAT teams and things kicking down doors to go find your child. Right. Now we have to wait because girls like you will lie and stage a fucking kidnapping. I, but how... I just don't understand the mind of that thought process. Like, what but are you... How, she, you gotta understand these people are children. Like, even I, like even in, even in a 6 9 situation, like, I he was a child. I mom whooped her... Let me tell you something. If my child fake got kidnapped from me and she get home, they might want to call CPS on me. I ain't gonna lie though. I'm the, dead uh, ass ass. I feel like, like everybody don't whoop their kids like black people. Because when black people whoop your ass, you feel it. But like, I don't know if Hispanics geez. gonna like whoop you. Hell you know, yeah. Hell yeah. So? Hell yeah. Like Spanish? Spanish? Hell yeah. Spanish people whoop their hell kids yeah. ass? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Spanish, they us, bro. Oh, so they going to jail they too. Is, oh yeah, they going so, to jail. So, so when, at the end of the world, when the world comes to an end, Black people and Spanish people going to jail. Together. We brothers and sisters. Yeah, I thought we was cousins. We cousins. That's what I meant to say. Uh, Spanish people are our cousins for, right. by sure. For like sure. for sure. Like, right. but it's just like that whole shit just really put me in a frenzy because like it's just so many things about it because it's not only the fact that there's so many women who haven't been found. It's not the fact that now you just make it harder for them to take these situations serious. Now it's because I guess. Is her mom in like a situation where she's forced to go back to Honduras and like she, she doesn't want to go? Supposedly, supposedly, right? So now we have a whole nother issue because Trump, now Trump looking at that yeah, like, like, it's like send him now, home, right? Like it's bye like, bye. It's like what the fuck? Like I just don't understand her processing and to be with a fucking little ass boy. Yeah, we off that. Fuck Yo, it. this hit national news. Sheesh. Like who does like? And her mom, I guess her mom was was sending her back. Her mom need to send her ass back. Yeah, she need to go home. Like, need to send her if ass back. If I had back. a donkey the other day, that would be... And, and, no, she, she be... is a dunk day. Because apparently she's been cutting up. But, like, I could tell her ass has been cutting up. Because this type of staging, this some badass kid shit. This yes. some badass... You a badass kid if you playing this. He's a little... Like, this not, this not no, like, regular, like, your kid just a little sassy. This... Your, your ass is bad. Facts. Your ass is bad. All right, moving on, man. Uh... Andre like three thousand. Like, <laughs> oh, Andre. <laughs> I feel like Andre three stacks. So first, say what it is because I don't think I don't know if people caught that. All right. So basically, he's saying that um he's not going to be coming out with any more music because of people's expectations. Was it because of that? The creative process. The creative yeah. process. He doesn't want people critiquing. Oh yeah. As well because. And I'm going to tell you why. I kind of understand it, though. And that's why it makes me sad. This I, It's not an excuse. Yo, the internet is harsh, bro. It is. The world is harsh, bro. It is very hard. It is. You're it right. is very hard to have a craft, love your craft, and the world is so harsh. You're right. Very. Like, and it's the crazy thing is, a lot of these motherfuckers don't know the fucking half of nothing. And they just be critiquing. Yeah, like, you're right. But I feel like... Andre three stacks. Andre three thousand was uh, he's he's been doing this for how long now? No, nah, he's been in the game for a long ass time, yo. Um, he's been in the game for a long ass time. Wait, what did you say? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me say, yeah. Play the audio. Play the audio. You got the uh, turn it up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. around and whatever happens, but I hadn't been motivated to do a serious project. I'd like to, but it's just it's just not coming. Uh, in my in my own self, uh, I'm trying to figure out where do I where do I where do I sit? You know. I don't I, I don't even know what I am and maybe I'm nothing. Maybe I'm not supposed to be anything. Maybe I get. I mean, I ain't mad at that. So I'm thinking. So if it was solely because of people expectations or people critiquing him, if it was just if it was just that, I'd be like, my nigga, like you've been doing this for way too long mm -hmm. to to allow this to start affecting you now. However, 
I understand that space as yeah. a like creative. Like yeah. it's like, bro, he's he's a great artist. <laughs> like, I mean, if you want to mm-hmm. kick kick it back and relax, it's like you said, like you don't know what I've been through. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So if I want to just coast right now, that's yeah, fine. That's and close. looking at Andre 3000 as a legend. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's been yeah, very he's creative smart. his he's whole smart, yeah. life. And if right now you don't want to be. Probably, and like, even like with creativity, like people got to understand when your brain like processes that fast and pushes so much out, like Sometimes eventually you, you got you tired. You, br- you almost burn yourself out. And like, well, creative artists like Andre, you know, you just don't understand how the much time he probably spent in the studio and up and thinking and writing and thinking and writing. You get burnt out. You're right. tired and you do need a reset. And if I was him, I would just take some time and just go take my family and just go chill out by some water and some beach yeah, and just do it. our thing and kick it and just, you know, right. chill until my, my brain starts to like, you know, want to function in that way don't again. Force but like, it, yeah. yeah, but don't force it. Like creativity is one of those things that you always go through that season of where you just might have like a burnt spell like you know what i'm saying like you're burnt out Thanks. you know and you know especially because he probably just doesn't also have a ghostwriter wait what i say he doesn't have one he doesn't have one i know right but that's what i'm saying like a lot of these new artists have ghostwriters so they don't go through that okay like what you, what you want Nothing. So why you got this face on? What it you was, got to say? It was just like random. Like you No, know. he probably doesn't have a ghostwriter. So you think about it, somebody who really has to work all day long. I have a lot of people work all day long. <laughs> so I got to give him no excuse, basically. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm just saying like. So you, think, you, so you think somebody, so if, if Cardi B came right now, you know, because apparently she's ghostwriter queen, right? She yeah. saw her good show. She come right now and saying like I'm having like a creative block. Like, bitch, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? No, <laughs> only thing I'm saying what is like creative block. Are he you might making? he might just be having like, <laughs> like a, a year what? two a year two worth of writer's block, and it's yeah, fine. It's that's okay. Fine. That's, what, it's that's right, what I'm like, saying. Like, it's right, fine. It's like, okay. I ain't really the only, like that. Ain't a story. Yeah. Well, but <laughs> look at but that, I Alex. Think, Sada. No, no. It's but not no, that, that was no, a good point though. But it's not because people need to understand. It's because. When you hear things like this about Andre 3000, like, if you're a fan of his, that could make you sad. It's like, no, damn, thanks. like, you know what I'm saying? But it shouldn't make you sad, You know, though. like, exactly. Thank you. But See? that shouldn't make you Wyman sad, though. Hurt. But that's because people like Wyman. People like our cameraman. This is the world today. We put so much expectations on somebody that we don't know, one, and another human but being, too. Hold up. It happens to us, Yeah, it does. Not even just... But like, that's not, not cool. Just, uh, no, okay. It's not look what, that... Look what, we, look, what we, look what we put the people through. We talking about... Uh, Social anxiety. We talk about regular, um, just anxiety. Period. We talk about mental health. Think but about I this. I don't think it's intentional. See, the it's thing not is intentional. People look but we need for to get out of it. No, you can't because people. You cannot control that you're somebody's inspiration. Facts. Right. You know what I'm saying. Facts. You you don't know what gaps you fill in for somebody just by being you. Hundred percent. Like, you know right. what I'm saying. So it's not the expectation. It's the fact that you have now unintentionally beca- became an inspiration to thousands or even but, a market of people and also now i feel like i have something right. to keep up it's N- not even what they're doing it's like i feel like damn it's people i'm inspiring by accident i didn't mean to do it. i'm doing it by just being my creative self now i have to upkeep that because i don't want to let them down so let me that's keep- the expectation we also put on ourselves we do now i'm gonna I'm a keep putting woman on blast because there's nothing wrong with that there's do <laughs> nothing wrong with that but Imagine, imagine how many people, just like he was like, yo, he let me down, or I'm disappointed. I was sad, whatever. Uh, right, like, but damn, imagine like, how many people went to Andre three thousand and said, I'm sad that you're not doing this. You know how hard that is for somebody to be like, I'm letting all these people down. I, I that can fuck that. somebody yeah, up. Yeah, but that's also something that's uncontrollable. It is uncontrollable. You, like, so, for a fact. like, there's nothing you can do about that. Like I said, like, what you might as well tell people, don't be inspired by me. Like, you yeah, can't not say even, that. Like, it's not even, don't, don't be, look, to, don't look to me for that. Don't give, don't hold no expectations on me because once you give me expectations, if I can't fulfill your expectations Batman on me. Batman comes through, saves a whole town. Batman, no, what? Like, no, no, like, seriously. Batman comes through, this saves is a fictional, Gotham. Excuse me. No, I'm about Gotham to Gotham doesn't even. Shut up. Okay? Just get my analogy for one second. Batman comes through to save Gotham one time. Now mm-hmm. guess what? Now niggas know Batman. Now niggas need get Batman to save Gotham every single time. Right. That's not his fault. He was just doing what he came here, what he was put here to do. Okay. Same thing to everybody. All right, Batman. You come into Catwoman. Catwoman. You, 
<laughs> you come here on this earth and you find your purpose. You use your purpose and you put it out there to the world and you use yourself as a testimony. Whoever gravitates towards you after that, you now have no control about that. Now, whatever they expect from you, you are just being you. It's not that they're doing it on purpose. Is that you gave what you had to the world to fulfill your purpose and they tapped in. So it's not, I get, yeah, it's hard, but it's hard on both parts. Because no, now right. my inspiration, something that I look to, is no longer creative. Who well, the guess fuck what? can I be inspired by now? Uh, go, in a mirror, go in the bathroom and look in the mirror. Yeah. So, Jay, you're inspired by people. If You you wouldn't be Jay Hill if you weren't inspired by somebody. My nigga, I'm, yes, I'm inspired by people, but yeah. nobody is the you, reason for why no, I do what I do. No, that's I get that. You don't need motivation. But it doesn't mean you didn't get inspiration. So here's the thing. You wouldn't know what you really would want to do if you never seen it done before. Facts. Right? 100%. So if nobody ever seen that done before, what the fuck will motivate you? You would be doing something completely different. Great point, babe. You got it. That's what I'm saying. You got it, girl. You got it. Listen, we're, we're, we're mature today. Maturity. Maturity. Hey. Uh, so how do you say it? Because I know people, you're not the, like, I know people say mature. And mature. Mature? I say mature. <laughs> mature. I say mature. Mature. You say mature. That's <laughs> mature. 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 But Ma what is it? M mature. 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 So mature would be M A C H O R. No, mature is M A T U R E. No. <laughs> M A T U R E. Like mature. Yeah, like that's like mature. True. Like no, because true. It said true. True. T R. Right? T R U E. You're not about to be like true. <laughs> no, I say true because it's T R U E. True. Maturity. Maturity. It's not T R E. How you say it? Mature. See? How you say it? Mature. Exactly, it's you. <laughs> hey, listen, Gemini Scorpio <laughs> podcast zero zero six maturity. <laughs> Maturity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure you subscribe on uh, uh, social media. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like, the comment button on YouTube. Make sure you turn your notification button on so you can get this all the time. Uh, we, I think we're going to talk about a new dropping date of the audio. Yeah. Because we still want to do the video on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But uh, just fuck with us, you know. Follow us. Healer Bay. H E A L E R. B A E underscore Yah. I'm Mr. Underscore J Hill M R underscore J A Y H I L L. And this is this was the Maturity Podcast. The Gemini Scorpio Podcast, period. Poo. We out. We out. Sheesh. I was